Hey. Guys, I'm having a crisis. I'm currently a gold girly and I'm thinking about becoming a silver girly. What do I do? Anyways, <laughs> we're going book shopping today. So it's the first official fall book haul. Genuinely, well, it's like 70 degrees out first, um, which is lovely because it's been so hot still. I am dressed for fall, we're pretending still. I think it's helping though. I usually go to this massive warehouse of a used bookstore, but to be honest, I really just don't feel like driving out there. I really just don't feel like it. So, looked it up and there's a cute little bookstore like 10 minutes away from me. So I figured I'd go there. They don't open till 12 though. So the plan is Starbs chai latte, a dirty little chai, cheeky little bookstore. And probably Barnes and Noble. Let's do it. Okay, that was lovely. So they're not open for like another 10 minutes. So I'm gonna just sit here and chat with you guys. You know, as far as like goals. What are we getting today? Great question. I feel like it never actually ends up being what I say I want to get, but that's what makes it exciting. So <laughs> I finished the Zodiac Academy book one last night. And after I read some Goodreads reviews, I feel like I can accurately describe how I feel about it. This is so difficult because I don't even know how to rate books anymore. I gave it a three stars on Goodreads, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I also didn't think the execution was great, but I liked, I don't know. I think I just like cringy writing. I think I'm having to come to terms with that, but only in some genres. Like I hate cringy romance writing. I really can't do it. Now, cringy fantasy writing with the subplot of like a toxic romance, Mm. That just, it's a little different, you know? So, you know, I get that there's things in the book that's prop, prop not good. Um, but I enjoyed it and I will be reading the rest of it, so here we are. That being said, I will be getting book two today. Besides that though, I know I want to get Bunny. One Stephen King book. I don't know, I just want to go like full on horror. Like, I want to get the Zodiac Academy, which is like fantasy. And then basically the rest of them, I want them to be like horror books. Yeah, that's just the vibe we're in. That's just how I feel. Also, I saw a TikTok and of course I didn't freaking see it until after I did my TBR, which is fine. But it was a TikTok that was like, what do the girlies want right now? And then it, the book turned over and it was like cannibalism. And I was like, yeah. Like, I didn't know that that's what I wanted, but I do. And so, I think it's called, it's called something like, uh, a different hunger or, I don't know. If I see it, I'll show you. I really don't know anything about it, but that sold me. I was like, yes. Eerie, sounds like it. Creepy, has to be. Horror, I hope so. It feels like all the things that I'm looking for today. So, that's the plan. So yeah, let's get the ball rolling. This is cute, it's like a little house.
Okay, yeah, that, I mean, I'm still here. So this, that's the cutest place I've ever been. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it's so close to my house. It's called, I think it's called the Crying Cat, but it's in Murfreesboro. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, so I found the Atlas 6 because I've given up on finding a self-published version of it, even though I think it's prettier, but that's fine. Um, but I did find this one in paperback, which I haven't seen yet, so that's good. Now the struggle is going to be finding the sequel in paperback after it comes out. Um, I think I'm going to buddy read this with my friend Amber, which I just told her. So, Amber, we're reading this. And I also got Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. This one specifically, I've had several people tell me that I would like it. So let's read the back. Let's see what's up. Dr. Lewis Creed takes a new job, moves to Maine, but there's danger. Love it. Okay, so apparently trucks <laughs> are driving too fast and killing all of the animals. So there's like a little makeshift DIY pet cemetery in the woods, as you do. Ooh, it says both real and in the depths of his nightmare. He gets warnings that he should not venture beyond the borders of this little graveyard. Do it. I dare you. I dare you to do it. A blood chilling truth is hidden there, one more terrifying than death itself and hideously more powerful. An ominous fate befalls anyone who dares tamper with this forbidden place as Lewis is about to discover for himself. Yes, Lewis. Thank you. Thanks for taking one for the team. My guy. Ooh, okay, cool. Publishers Weekly says, the most frightening novel Stephen King has ever written. That's what I'm looking for. Nice. <sighs> I'm so excited to read this one. Okay, I'm gonna stop at Barnes & Noble because I still really wanna get Bunny. I'm thinking maybe My Heart is a Chainsaw and maybe the Cannibal book. Oh, but I have to get Zodiac Academy. <sighs> we will see we will see how many books i cave into buying also i was really impressed she had jinji ito in here she actually had a lot so that's exciting but people live in them and then it's just like this random bookstore that's so cute okay i love it time to go actually so successful you know what i think it's time for another little bevy okay <laughs> that was so underwhelming now i'm ready okay of course first i got uh, zodiac academy the second book i will say though this one is significantly thicker than the first one even the back is kind of cringe damn whatever so I have that one, right? Then, of course, cool, upside down. <laughs> I got money. It is so much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a typical, like three to 400 page book. This tiny. While I was at Barnes and Noble, I had a little bit of time to kill, so I read like the first chapter of Bunny, and I'm already, a, I'm, I'm hanging out with this book. Me and this book, we're friends. 
we're getting to know each other. Then this one, surprise, was not planning on getting it, but I saw it and it was just so pretty. I had to. Um, the Essential Tales and Poems, Edgar Allan Poe. It's not a complete like edition or whatever, but it has like his most classic works in it. Look how pretty this is. Are you kidding me? Hold on, let me see if I can hold it all the way open. Cute, yeah. You've outdone yourself, Barnes and Noble. This is what we're working with. This was good. This was a good haul. Ah, okay. I have to go to work now. She's a working girl. So, I'll see you guys later. Wow, that was so productive. I feel like it took no time. Usually, I'm like out here all day. Have a good day. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>